and here's probably the rarest Dunhill pipe that I've ever owned. Uh, this is actually a fake Dunhill. It's some sort of replica or something like that. Uh, I'll explain the nomenclature later and how me and a few other experts I've contacted came to the conclusion that this is either a fake or uh, one guy told me that he's heard of some Dunhill pipes getting stolen by employees off the line before they're ever stamped or finished and they'll take them home and do it themselves. You'll see it's marked Dunhill, but there's no grade stamp, no root or briar or uh, chestnut or anything like that. And also the 848, you can see the 8 is lifted, the last 8. This is an ODA, by the way, it's a larger size pipe. Um, also on the other side you'll see where it says made in England. There's no year um, stamp after England. So all the nomenclature is just, it's off. There's something strange about it. Also the finish, it's obviously a chestnut finish, but when they were making these 848 ODAs, chestnut uh, wasn't being produced. Uh, this should have been a rear or a root. Um, and so there's just, there's so many things off about this pipe that it clearly shows it's one of those two options. Either this is an amazing replica, uh, which this is the best fake I've ever seen, or um, it's one of those pipes that was taken off the line and then later uh, maybe stained at home by an employee. Here's actually a real 848 ODA. You'll see it's a Bruyere finish, um, which adds up with when these pipes were actually being produced. The chestnut finish does not. Um, but this is just to compare and so you can see how great this replica is, if it is a fake. Um, you'll see it's almost exactly the same length. Stems are almost exactly the same. Bowl heights are almost exactly the same. Um, even, even down to, uh, on the stem, there's actually that Dunhill bevel on the bottom of the tenon, uh, which all Dunhill stems will have if they're real. Uh, and so whoever made this was just an expert, expert pipe maker. He put a lot of time into this. Um, he obviously could work at a Dunhill factory, so that's why it's got to be one of the two. Either it's a fake or it's the real thing, but just taken off the line by an employee. Either way, the history's got to be awesome. Um, and it'll go well in any collection. Enjoy.